Warning Fanzine presents the best of Bomb Shelter videos. Original footage from the first 13 programs. Tonight's show will feature some of the best, the best of the worst, the worst of the best, not to mention everything in between. Just for tuning in, you get people jumping on each other. There's skateboarding reviews from too, albums Frank. from 1984. Hey, hey, how about some of the local stuff? Yes, even movie reviews. But wait, there's more. Some of it's in color, Anarchy, some of it's not. Some of it you can hear, some of it you can't. But remember, you'll never see anything like this on network television. Welcome to Bomb Shelter Videos. This is um, an hour of... Well, fun, art, noise, thrash, uh, whatever you want to call it. We just have a whole assortment of garage band videos. But this week we've got something that's really, really special. It's better than garage band. I don't know how to print it. Um, a band called Agent Orange, which is a, well, I'd say a new surf band, but they've been around for a while, so they're not new, but they are a surf band, and they're growing regularly in popularity. So this week we're going to talk a little bit about surfing. We're going to talk a little bit about skateboarding. Um, not most, not not that much about surfing. Mostly about skateboarding. Um, we got a new tape here today called Skate Visions, put out by Vision Skateboards. It features music of Agent Orange. So we're going to show you some Agent Orange videos later on in today's program. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the fanzines that other kids are putting out um, to talk about the skate news in their own area. Right now, I just would like to play a few videos to get you all warmed up for more show. So stay tuned, or actually don't stay tuned, just keep watching the screen where I'm at right now, because in just a second, there's going to be music and other pictures. Really, really, I'm serious, watch, just watch. <laughs>
be my heroin pill. Can I call you back? Yeah, or I want to show them some skate videos. Yeah, they're cool, really. Just just wa turn it back to that channel, right? The channel that I'm on, right? And watch. It's good. It's re really. Okay, okay. Well, can I call you later? Okay, bye, Mom. Well, we're back. I don't know what you thought about those last videos, but I thought they were great. What we have right now is a couple of videos from uh, a tape called Skate Visions. Now, Skate Visions video was put out by... Vision Skateboards, which is a skateboard label, a skateboard company that puts out skateboards, but there's a band called Agent Orange, and Agent Orange put the soundtrack on this video. So what I want to do is show you a couple of, of videos from Skate Visions featuring the music of Agent Orange, and one of the vi videos even features the band in it. 
So I'd like to show you a couple of these cuts. If you get a chance to purchase this video, you can probably pick it up at a skateboard shop. If not, pick up a skateboard and have a good time with it. Get rad or something, okay? Um, right after this, interview with Carl Logstad, um, president of Arctic Wheeler Skateboard Club from Alaska. Mark! Mark! What? Where are you going? Skiing. Did you clean your room and make your bed? Sure, yeah, sure. Never did expect to have a big and 
All right, we're back at the bomb shelter. Those were a couple of really good um, hardcore videos there. Um, today, my guest is Carl Ogstead, and Carl is basically a promoter in town who puts on a lot of skateboard events, president of the Arctic Wheelers um, Skateboard Club. Carl, would you like to say a few things yourself? Um, what, what's been happening with the skateboard scene in Anchorage? Well, for the last uh, year, we've been putting on uh, skateboard exhibitions and skateboard contests throughout Anchorage, trying to promote skateboarding, promote the safety of skateboarding, try to bring it back alive here in Alaska because it's been somewhat dead for the last year or two. Well, how's it gone so far? This year, I, I skated a lot this year, um, mostly roller skated and hit a few ramps up and stuff, and I've had a, had a ramp in my, you know, out here behind the bomb shelter for, well, for a couple of years, and we just recently moved it because we had to put in a new shelter. But uh, I, I noticed that there's a couple of nice ramps around town. What's some of the hot spots? Well, there's a lot of new ramps here in town. There's uh, the Boz ramp, which is the called the Moose Skate ramp, and uh, there's also the Tidal Wave, the Micro Wave, and there's Mike Skate Death's ramp, and uh, there's your old ramp, and uh, there's a couple of the ramps which have been defunct for a little while. Yeah, my my old ramp went to GMB Sport and yeah. Skate, so it's owned by a little skateboard shop in town. Well, you brought some. Uh, Carl brought some videos of some stuff that he shot himself around town this past year, and. So we would like to show you a little bit of videos, talk about it, let you see what we got. So can I put that tape in? There you go. Yeah, hang on this for me, please. Sure. So we're gonna put this tape in. Awesome footage. Awesome footage. It's a good <laughs> stuff. Let's see what we got here. So anyway, we've got a lot of um, just some good stuff that you uh, that you shot this summer, right? Right. The uh, beginning portion is the local footage of uh, the Boz ramp, which is the best footage. It's a 16 foot wide half pipe, 10 feet tall. And uh, definitely the best skating we've done in a long time. Uh, it's also pretty, the transition's real nice too on the half. It's got a good good transition. It's an eight foot transition, uh, a lot of speed, made of masonite, so it's extremely fast. And who, who's this here on camera right now? Oh, we've got we uh, here? myself uh, in the yellow helmet and Brian Bailey in the red helmet. We're uh, doing some laybacks and aerials, a lot of aerial maneuvers. There's a sequential inverts here and there. And this is at the Balls Ramp over in uh, what? Right. It's this in is a a another other side of town, basically. It's located in the Diamond High School area. It's a privately owned ramp. It's kind of closed up for the season right now, but uh, next year it'll be ready to go. It'll be the hot spot. Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be, be totally be rad. Spot, yeah. yeah, I'm getting excited about it right now. Even though the snow is not, I'm, you know, I know the ramp closed down, but this ramp was just installed like about a month before it was too cold to ride, so everybody's just been abusing it. How many, anybody get broke up on this ramp yet? Well, we've had about four casualties. Let's say uh, three broken arms, that's wrists, and then we had this one guy completely, I mean, break his arm and compound fraction and everything. What but, about? Uh, oh, okay. And then one guy, did he break his foot? Yeah, broke his leg and ended up having a cast for about a month. Well, so what I want to tell you guys out there, you know, you know when you're going and thrashing around on your skateboards, you know, you can wear your biker boots and you can wear your little uh, <laughs> kilts with your jeans and, and your leather jackets, but when you get on a skateboard, put on some sneakers, man. Don't try and ride sneakers in engineer boots. These guys here in the ramps, I've noticed that uh, they've got a lot of equipment on. Do you, you, rec you highly recommend that they oh, dress that way? I highly recommend full equipment, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, gloves, the whole nine yards. It's definitely your life in your own hands when you're they're riding vertical. Uh, well, ten feet in the air when you fall down to the flat bottom isn't a pleasant experience. Well, a lot of the people that own the ramps, though, it's pretty much a regulation. They have to pretty much wear full equipment, helmet, elbow pads, gloves. Well, it is in whenever they skate my ramp, but uh, some of these other ramps, it's kind of optional equipment. But uh, it seems like all the guys who end up getting hurt, of course, don't have the equipment. So uh, right, you know, right. So it's just for it's yourself. Right, that's right, and you know it. Well, this is really some hot stuff here. Really great. Yeah, there's a. Uh, uh, give me, there. tell me what some of these the are. Now these are uh, some various slide maneuvers. Now this is going to be the Denali ramp. This is switching over to my old ramp uh, back in 1981. This is when we were kind of just starting out, but we were doing pretty good for 
just picking up the sport for. Yeah, it's really hot. Looks really good. I uh, I get out there on my roller skates every once in a while, you know, just to freak out all the kids that trips them out, you know. Yeah, with for, with eight wheels, it's a little more difficult because. Uh, well, you can't jump off yeah. the skates. You have to fall. When you eat it, you eat it. You know. Yep. Go with the wheels. Where on a skateboard, you can kick it out from under you, so you can. So run you can or slide fall. It out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot, I noticed a lot of new skaters on the scene this year. I mean, last year there was, what, maybe 20 of us at max that were really doing anything. And then this year with the two new stores, with New Frontier Sports opening up, and then uh, the GMB one opening up, too, as a, mm -hmm. another one to, to promote the whole sport itself. It's really grown intensely this, su this, su this season. Yeah, skateboarding has really grown tremendously. The uh, output of skaters has, has tripled uh, with the new uh, stores, New Frontier and G&B, uh, and the, the more access to all the ramps around town, and everyone's starting to get into it. Uh, well, Carl, recently, didn't you go to California to compete, or what happened down there? Tell well, me about what happened. I went down to uh, Del Mar to uh, watch the Del Mar Pro-Am, which was a series of s skateboard competitions. Uh, it was a pool event and a half-pipe competition and freestyle, and this was the best in the world. This was the finals in the National Skateboard Association. Uh, the footage that I filmed down there of the pros were just incredible. Well, you think maybe we can get some of that footage on another oh, show later on down the line? Definitely, definitely, yeah. I'm sure everyone will be impressed. Yeah, it'll be hot stuff. Okay, because we can put some music to it, some good thrash stuff, something that'll really make it stand out, huh? Get the adrenaline flowing, yeah. yeah. that's right, that's right. <laughs> Well, anyway, we've got to sign off with this segment. Um, Carl, it's been really nice having you on today. Um, I'd like to have you come back and talk a little bit more about skateboarding as the season progresses. Is there anything you'd like to tell the skateboarders or anybody interested in skateboarding out there before we sign off? Well, one thing I'd like to say is uh, that skateboarding, since it is a limited s season to the summer, uh, we've been taking up snowboarding for the winter months. So if anyone is interested in skateboarding or snowboarding, they should jump on a snowboard for the winter months to kind of get their legs conditioned for the summer you know because it's and it's a great there'll be a lot of snowboarders out this season because i noticed that sales had picked up at a couple of the snowboard shops in town yeah new frontier sports and g and skating sports uh, and there's an outlet in kenai also that has a lot of snowboards available well we're going to go and watch a few skate bands here because i've got some hot stuff all lined up for you at the bomb shelter we're going to have big boys then we're going to come back with one from skate death uh, of course, that's a local skate band. And then we're just going to hit you up with a real quick one from Suicidal Tendencies. Remember, most of the videos tonight are off flip side number three, so stay tuned. Keep watching Bomb Shelter videos. Thanks, Carl. Thank you.
because I try to do things and it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. And I get real frustrated. They're like, I try hard to do it and I like take my time, but it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. It's like I concentrate on real hard, but it just doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try, it never turns out. It's like I need time to figure these things out. There's always someone there going, hey Mike, you know, we've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately, you know? Maybe get away and like maybe you should talk about it, you'll feel a lot better. And I go, no, it's okay, you know, I'll figure it out. Just leave me alone, I'll figure it out, you know? I'm just working on myself. And they go, well, you, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'll be here, you know, and you'll probably feel a lot better if you talk about it. So why don't you talk about it? I go, no, I don't want to, I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. And they just keep bugging me. They just keep bugging me, there's pills on the side. It's got me, it's too slow, so come up with one side. You won't have anything, I'll bring one. I was in my room and I was just like staring at the wall thinking about everything Then again yeah, I was thinking about nothing And then my mom came in and I didn't even know she was there She called my name and I didn't hear her and then she started screaming Mike! Mike! And I go what? What's the matter? She goes what's the matter with you? I go there's nothing wrong mom She goes don't tell me that you're on drugs I go no mom I'm not on drugs I'm okay I'm just thinking you know Why don't you give me a Pepsi? She goes no you're on drugs I go mom I'm okay I'm just thinking she goes, no, you're not thinking, you're not just No, no, people don't act that way I go, mom, just give me a Pepsi, please All I want is a Pepsi And she wouldn't give it to me All I wanted was a Pepsi Just one Pepsi And she wouldn't give it to me Just a Pepsi Give my shirt with my sleeves Got to back to see a thief Got me up, you just play me It's a good deal, I'm crazy I'm not crazy Here's the truth You're the one that's crazy Here's the truth You're trying to be crazy Here's the truth They stick me in and this truth can say what The only truth can give me from the sun The second from the enemy myself I was sitting in my room, and my mom and my dad came in. They pulled up a chair and they sat down. They go, Mike, we need to talk to you. And I go, okay, what's the matter? They go, me and your mom, we've noticed lately you've been having a lot of problems. And you've been going off for no reason. And we're afraid you're going to hurt somebody. And we're afraid you're going to hurt yourself. So we decided that it would be in your best interest if we put you somewhere where you can get the help that you need. And I go, wait, what are you talking about? We decided... My best interest? How do you know what my best interest is? How can you say what my best interest is? What are you trying to say? I'm crazy. When I went to your school, I went to your churches, I went to your institutional learning facilities. So how can you say I'm crazy? Say you're gonna pick my face, leave me in suffering at my face. By the time they pick my head, better leave me, I'll be dead. I'm not crazy, here's the truth You're the one that's crazy, here's the truth You're trying to be crazy, here's the truth They stick me in, they need to do the same one The only truth you give me is from the truth I'm just taking from the enemy myself Since the theme this week is skateboarding, we've covered a lot of skateboarding, and I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems like skateboarding is the official punk sport or the you know the official underground music sport. I'm not really sure, but it seems like it gets a lot of publicity in alternative music publications. I guess because it's a it's just a real high energy a sport that you really have to have good thrash fast mu fast music to do to to skate to really. Um, some of the skate zines, I want to talk a little bit about skate fanzines, fanzines that skaters actually produce. Now Steve Caballero is a professional skateboarder in, in California and he puts out a fanzine called Speed Zine. And I have a few of his issues here. And St Stevie's been at it for a while now because I've got seven different issues and they're all pretty good. Um, what's, what's some of the things about them of course is that it's not really um, I don't know how you say professionally done, but it's not really professionally done. It's just done to inform and show other people pictures of, of other skaters. You know, sometimes to see a picture of a good skate a skate trick will help you be able to pull it off yourself. And that's what this publication does. And Speed Zine, of course, is from by Steve Caballero. There's another one here called USN, Underground Skate News. 
and it's just a just the same type of thing it's just a, a small skate fanzine full of skate information and just comics and goofy stuff skaters would probably find really informative street issue another one thrash and tool a real popular skate zine thrash and tool and of course then there's SOS skate oriented stuff and it covers <laughs> skate oriented stuff just like the cover says well that's the skate zines for right now I'd like to um, put you on to a few more videos um, I'm not sure what we got but how about if we throw on some skate bands I'll see if I can find one in file here but check it out tell me what you think
Well, you know what time it is, don't you? That's right. It's time for We'll Call You. We're going to call a number I just got in the mail this week. Let's see. It says Kevin H. And the number is 278... Let's see what we get here. Okay, I'm not here right now, but don't hang up yet. Leave a message, and then hang up. <laughs> um, you've just been caught by Bomb Shelter Videos. Bye-bye. <laughs> that wasn't a very impressive message, was it? Like I've tried to tell you before, telephone message machines are an art form. Either be creative or don't purchase one. If you have a telephone answering message machine that you think the message is better on than the message we just heard, I'd like you to send me the number at Bomb Shelter Videos, P.O. Box 102993, Anchorage, Alaska. Because, well, I'll be honest with you, I'm running out of phone numbers with answering machines on them, so I'm taking anything I can get. So if you have something that you think is worth listening to, worth playing back to people, send it in, because we'll use it. Right now, I'd like to return you to more music videos, and I'm not sure what kind they are because, well, my file is just totally a wreck. It's just a wreck. So you watch and you tell me if it was any good, because I just gave you the address, so if you don't send the phone number, send a letter. Stay tuned for more Bomb Shelter videos right after, well, <laughs> or not after anything, right now.
Well, that's the end of bomb shelter videos for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I mean, you probably were in a house with furniture and other people. Well, I had to be all alone in this big, well, actually not even big. It's a little teeny tiny bomb shelter. Do you know where I go to the bathroom? I don't go to the bathroom. Why? Because there's no place to go to the bathroom. That's why I live in this little box. No, that's not why I live in this little box. I live in this little box because there's no other place to live. Think about it, okay? This is Bomb Shelter Videos. I'm Bill Board. I'll see you next week, same time, same station, which is this station. Now, if you've got to go to school in the morning, go to bed now. If you've got to go to work in the morning, go to bed now. But whatever you do, don't forget to watch Bomb Shelter Videos next week at the same time. Good night. in a matter of seconds, and the heat and blast effects you can see and feel.